Hi guys, this is going to be a reading for Taurus. How are you guys doing? Let's see, what are the energies you've been dealing with lately? Is this for Taurus, please, spirit guides? What are the energies they've been dealing with lately? Okay, wow. Some of you are um, very much up in your head about something. Um, we have concern and thoughts. These came out together. Okay, we also have a message of concern. So, it's like triple concern here. <laughs> And then we have high honor, so um, I'm not sure what this is regarding. Could be work, career, family, what's going on, but some of you might just be feeling like stuck in your head lately. Like there's something that you're, you can't stop thinking about. Um, I would say to try to get out of your head, get out of your mind, do something that puts you in your body more, um, in your physical body, so that you're not trapped in your thoughts, okay? Let's see, what are the oracle messages for Taurus? Self-indulgence. Oh, it's so bright. <laughs> Can't even see it. Oh, there. Self-indulgence. Focus on self, self-worth, time to heal, shadow work, self-appreciation. Okay? So there's different ways that you guys can do shadow work. Um, if you want, you can look it up. You can research it. But this is a big message from spirit, from the universe, to say focus on yourself on your self-worth, your self-care. What are the ways that you are holding yourself back? Where, what are the ways you're neglecting yourself? Is there a boundary you need to put up with somebody? Is there, um, you know, I feel like you guys are usually pretty good though about that, like about self-care. Okay, so we have passion, insane chemistry, like each other, having fun. Wow, so some of you are dealing with a very passionate connection here. We have not enough. So, um, frustrated in relationship, lack of confidence. I feel like um, some of you might be feeling, might be overextending yourself, trying to get what you want out of people, relationships, through them, remember we can't really do that, you know, stay focused, stay inward, stay grounded, you are your own source of, you sustain yourself, right, we have um, the butterfly, okay, relationship is evolving to the next phase, Okay, if this is with someone that you're dealing with, sometimes uh, before the relationship can ascend or evolve into the next phase, it actually goes through a rough patch. So you might feel like who you're with right now, um, things are crumbling, falling apart, going downhill. So try not to stress because that is just the bringing of the awareness of the issue. That's the first step, okay? The next step is, um, after awareness, is, okay, what are we going to do about this, you know? And like they say, where there's a will, there's a way. You always have a solution. So don't let the problem stress you out and make you feel defeated. Like, this is, this is it. This is the end. This is a mess. We're not going to get through this. Okay? We have Grim Reaper. So some of you could be dealing with a Scorpio. The relationship is over. No second chances. Grow and transform your life. So others of you, um, you might be trying to move on from someone or cut someone out of your life. But if not, this could, when, it, when it's coming out with butterfly like that, 
if you're going to stay with your partner, this could represent just the, um, the ending of a cycle between the two of you and you guys are ready for a next chapter, okay? We have Healing Heart. Oh my god, I'm going to have to close my window or something. Blinds, I mean. Um, we have Healing from Heartbreak, Freedom from Toxic Relationship or Addiction. All right, so some of you are definitely like moving on from someone, cutting them out of your life, doing what's best for you. Um, if not, this could be like for others of you, like um, there could have been like a cycle, a behavior, a pattern. It could even go back to childhood or family. Um, there's... Um, something in you that's coming out right now to the surface in order to be healed um, so but it's something from the past so it's not something that you're um, it's not a person who you're currently dealing with but it still affects you to this day so be careful with that um, like don't hold on to any past pain all right what are the low normans for my um, Taurus I got this deck. I'm so excited. It's so cute, but, um, oh, you can't even see anything on. I'm just like, here, it's this cute little Lenormand. <laughs> it's so cute, but let's see what cards they have for you guys. Wow, we have the Lily. Okay, this is like a very beautiful card. Um, this can symbolize just like a flower a beautiful woman some of you are blossoming opening up um, to your life in a new way maybe there's a part of yourself that you've had closed off and um, you're learning how to open up and be more vulnerable and it can be um, scary sometimes or even bring up your past pain like I mentioned but in order to open up completely and get the most out of life um, we have to we have to open ourselves up in these ways that can sometimes bring back up past pain or things we haven't healed yet but the rewards are so beneficial because you get to experience life in a more fuller and deeper way. Okay, what else? Some of you could be dealing with a Virgo because this Lily card reminds me of a Virgo. All right, so we have um, we have the ship. So, um, some of you are moving forward. You could actually be making a move or trying to manifest a move if you want to move to a new house, a new place, a new destination. You could be traveling, going on vacation, going on a trip. Um, then we have the whip. <laughs> Some of you like to be a little dominatrix. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> okay, I just got this, so I'm still learning. So I'm just going to check the book real quick. But I think it means, like, dominance or whip someone into shape. Let's see. Okay, tension, conflict, strife. Being dominated or whipped. Yeah, into shape or submission. All right, so if this is you guys... Um, be careful with that, I guess, if you're being, like, a little bit bossy or dominating. Like, you might want everything to go your way. And just be careful. Like, know that. Remember, in relationships, it's a mutual. It, let it flow, right? Um, but that's what's great about Taurus is, is that you guys are an earth sign, so you're good at staying grounded and in your power. And you know who you are, what you want, and what you like, okay? The downside is that you guys can be stubborn <laughs> or stuck in your ways. So just remember it's about a balance, a give and take. 
But, you know, but of course, don't let anyone take more than they're giving from, from you, which is with that self-care card, which is why you guys are really good at that. Because that stubbornness can protect you in a way. Because you're like, no, don't mess with me. You're not going to... You're not going to take more from me than you give, you know? All right, so we have the coffin at the bottom of the deck. Again, just like with the Grim, Grim Reaper card, like, there's an ending. There's some sort of cycle closing out. Um, and then you guys could be dealing with Scorpio, okay? Because that's, like, transformation. We have the butterfly, too, which butterflies always... I relate to Scorpio because it's all about transformation. So there's definitely a lot of that energy here right now. Okay, let's pull some tarot and then we're going to close out. Let's see. Where did that deck go that I wanted to use? Oh my god. I was just using it last night. I'm sorry guys, hold on. <laughs> so strange I really don't know it was right here like um oh there it is okay okay it was on the floor <laughs> Sometimes I do tarot on the floor. All right. Okay, let's see. This is for Taurus, please. Taurus. What are the messages for my Taurus people? So we have um, Four of Pentacles. All right, again, so we kind of talked about that, right? So that's validating, again, that, um, that stubborn energy, or there might be something you're holding on to. Um, if, is it a behavior? Is it an idea that you've outgrown, that you just need to let go already, you know? Um, sometimes, like, we were talking about that Taurus stubbornness. Um, like, it's good because you stay true to you, but what are the ways it's holding you back? Is there an area where you could be more flexible or open-minded? Or um, And as soon as you do that, we have some, like, there's a new opportunity that comes in. So don't hold your back. Hold yourself back. Like, open yourself up to life, to the universe, to what is out there to what can be offered, you know? Get the most out of life, right? Because time is ticking by and it's, it waits for no one, you know? The Eight of Swords almost wanted to pop out. So again, that's like being stuck in your head, right? When, which is what we talked about in the beginning of the, um, the reading. So we have the Three of Cups. So um, try to like get out with friends. Um, get together and celebrate. That might help you guys get out of your head. Um, we have the Two of Swords. There might be something that you're having a hard time making a decision on. We have the Ten of Cups and the Eight of Cups. So I'm getting the feeling that as soon as you guys are ready to let go of this energy, whatever it is that's holding you back from the past, that's when you can really manifest your true like emotional abundance and get some 
really great like new opportunities and we have the king of wands at the bottom of the deck so some of you might be dealing with a fire sign aries leo or sagittarius but i feel like it's really just you guys taking back control of your life taking being more in charge and just going for it going after the things that you want and need so thank you so much for um tuning in you guys i hope to see you next time and I hope it resonated for you. Please let me know. Hit the like button. Subscribe. All right. Bye.